everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of the Terraria Ranger playthrough. Now guys, we're starting off with this dude right here. We've got Llewellyn, the traveling merchant, and guess what buddy, you're going to be selling me the Gatligator, right? Yes? Uh, no. Okay. Diamond ring, two platinum, are you kidding me right now? Uh, life of analyzer, ah, stopwatch, that's one of the things we were actually needing, right? So, yeah, I'ma buy that. I'm gonna buy that. Okay, life of analyzer, pad Thai. Let's go ahead and buy a whole bunch of them. There we go. At the very least, if we run out of marshmallows, which we are going to do, then we will, of course, have the pad Thai. Awesome stuff. All right, guys. So in today's episode, we are intending on taking down Skeletron Prime, or at least attempting to anyway. Do We do already have pretty much all the stuff that I need. Crystal Bullet. Holy Arrow, Mega Shark, Star Cannon, Onyx Blaster, Daedalus Stormbow, all these amazing weapons for hard mode, and I am I'm pretty much good to go. So what I need to do now is I very simply need to go and grab some resources. So, what have we got in terms of resources? I do believe that we are going to be needing I think it's three of each of the souls. So three souls of light, three souls of night. We need a bunch of bones. Uh, bones. Is that ammunition? Yeah, that's counted as ammunition. Okay, so we've got bones, and then I do believe, obviously, we're also going to need ourselves some of these bad boys. So, let's go ahead. We're going to head down underground. We've got the underground crimson right below us. That's absolutely fantastic. It should be really easy to get ourselves two souls of night. Hey there, buddy. You, my good sir, are going to give me nothing aside from coins. Do you know what? Coins are still good, you're right. Okay. Right, here we go. Hey, buddy. Hey, come here, come here, come here. I'm gonna take you down. I'm gonna take you down. You're gonna enjoy it. Buddy, get off me. Soul of Night, there we go. Right, so this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna give me both a Soul of Night and that one accessory that you sometimes drop. Nope. Ah, oh, this is he. Already got all the souls I need. Huh, cool. Right, I kind of want to have a look and see what else I need the Souls of Night for or what other things I might need it for. Let's go over to the guide real quick. Uh, let's have a look. So, we've got the Onyx Blaster, the Spirit Flame, obviously we can't use them, Mechanical Worm, Mechanical Skull, Logic Sensor, Golden Shower, Demon Wings, pretty much nothing in other words. Right, Crimson Mimic. Ooh, could be an idea, huh? We could maybe try and get a Crimson Mimic and then maybe get the Dart Pistol, because we, we still don't have a Dart Pistol, and that's one of the things you can get from the Crimson Mimic, I do believe. So if you manage to get one of those, that'd be kind of awesome, because you can get I Call Darts. I think there's some other kinds of darts you can get as well, but I'm not entirely sure. I've never, I don't think I've actually, like, properly, seriously used the Dart Pistol before. I may have shot it once or twice just to try it out in previous videos, but I haven't actually, you know, used it, you know? used it against mobs, used it against bosses, or used it for any decent amount of time, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Anyways, we're gonna head down on the ground here. We are gonna try and get ourselves one more soul of light. Hey, buddy. There's someone around here. Get off me. Hey, come on, boys. Come on. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to kick your ass. Alright, here we go. So, there's gonna be a dude down here. But there's a couple dudes down here by the looks of it. Hello! Where'd you go, buddy? Hello! Hi! Get wrecked! Oh, the Onyx Blaster is amazing. Wow, that's 128 damage. Are you kidding me right now, bro? That's crazy. Hello, Lamia. Get off me. Come on, boys. There we go. Oh, I can see the soul of uh, light down there, by the way. So that's kind of awesome. Can you, like, stop killing me and stuff? All right, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. All right, now what you're going to do is also die, and you're going to give me a rod of discord. Nope. Down it! Oh, jeez. Let's be careful. Let us be careful. I don't want to die. Not today. Not today. Get off me! Get wrecked! There we go, there's another one. So... Can I, like, do this? What?! No! No is the answer to that question. I cannot do this. But what I can do is have Esmeralda the Stylist arrive. That's kind of awesome. Huh? Yeah! <laughs> oh, how's our time looking? 9.50? I mean, we've still got a decent amount of time to do this thing. Right, we now have all of the stuff required to make ourselves the Skeletron Prime Summoner. Awesome stuff! Very, very cool indeed. Um, do we need, like, more than one summoner? I, mean, I don't see a reason why I should need it. At least, hopefully, I won't need it. I'm hoping to take him down first time. That would be pretty awesome. Right, musket pouch, you can go away. The crystal bullets can now come out. In fact, no. No, put that back on. Right, because what we're going to do now, my friends, is heal. We're going to grab ourselves a whole bunch of souls of night, okay? A whole bunch of them. I'm going to just go ahead and farm them out, and then when we get to, I don't know, maybe, like, 4 p.m., Okay, we'll see how many we've got, and we'll try and take down as many Crimson Mimics as we possibly can, I guess. So, yeah, let's just wait for a bunch of dudes to spawn in. We've got about 
oh, five and a half minutes ish to get as many souls as we possibly can. So here we go, folks. We gotta try this out. Uh, can you like die, please, son? Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, you sneaky son of a gun. Get on, get out of here. All right. Oh, there's a Crimson Mimic command. Where is he? Where is he? I gotta find him. Crimson Mimic? Crimson Mimic! He's somewhere around here. Has to be. Oh, he's there! Oh, yes! I found you! I found you, buddy! A naturally occurring Crimson Mimic! Totally was not expecting it, but now we have it. Hey, no, don't do it. Right, here we go. Right, now this guy can get absolutely murked, yes? Oh god, here he goes. Here he goes. He's gonna go crazy now. He's gonna go crazy. Go on, get off me. Get off me. Okay, and uh, now he's gonna start rebounding shots. And now we wait, and now we kick his ass. All right, come on, buddy. All right, he's probably gonna start flying around. Or not. Not flying around, really. Interesting. Hey, buddy, come on. Oh, there's a bunch of floaty grosses. Oh, okay, this could get very hairy very quickly if we are not careful. Why, right, that guy's like the game. Ha! Huh. Oh, wow! That was a hit ton of damage. Wow, bro. Ridiculous. Right, floaty grosses, you are not helping this situation by any stretch of the imagination. Come on, I need to move. All right, he's down there. Oh, no, we're in a bad situation now, folks. I wonder if I could somehow lure him. Is he gonna come through the... Can I maybe... No! No! That is not fair! That is not fair! That's not fair! You can't spawn a freaking Viking on me like that, Terraria! I was gonna try and lure him up the elevator to the surface. Are you kidding me, bro? Come on, man! That's, that's, that's bull. I don't like that. That is complete bull. I don't like it at all, dude. Uh, I hate losing to a Crimson Mimic, man. That is the worst feeling in Terraria. Has to be. Uh, you know you're going to get something good out of it, but then Terraria's just like, nah, I'm going to spawn a freaking Viking on you to kick your ass. Uh, Alright, well, back to the soul farming. Alright, guys, so here we are back at the surface. It's just ticked over to 4 p.m. in game, and well, well, I may have died to that freaking Crimson Mimic slash that Viking Ice Viking dude which I'm still a little bit mad about, admittedly. We were blessed in other ways, in that uh, most of the mobs I killed in the Underground Crimson actually did give me Souls of Night. So I have 17 of them right here, which is pretty nice. Let's go ahead and get one of these. And then we are also going to need ourselves a chest. All right, let's grab one of those out. All right, and all we got to do is hop over this way. Wait. That nurse almost looked like she was saying hello to that penguin for a minute there. Right, anyways, here we go. So this guy is right here, and now I'm going to pwn him. Ha boom! Right, you're not taking me down today, son. Although, technically speaking, he didn't take me down before. It was that freaking Viking dude, which is mildly not. Wow, that was a good shot. Holy crap. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, you just got shot twice a minute, brother. <laughs> nice. Get wrecked. Ah! Why you do this? Why? Why why you do this? Why you why you know just accept death? Why why can you not just be a good crimson mimic and just die? Mm -hmm. Right, there we go. Oh, don't do it. Oh man, he did it again, you son of a gun. Hey, come on, buddy. Uh, right, how's he doing? 1100. Uh, he's doing an old jumping thing. A boom! There we go! What did what really? Wow, he gave me an ammo rock as well as the fetid magnax. Oh man, if the oh, dude, if this was a warrior playthrough, I would be the most ecstatic guy you'd ever seen. Wow, that's crazy though. I can't believe I got like two weapons from that dude. <laughs> that doesn't happen very often now, does it? It's kind of awesome though. All right, uh, let's go put you in there. In fact, no, we're selling those, aren't we? Uh, Ammo rock and the fetid bag knacks. Obviously, we're selling those as well. Uh, mechanic, hey there, buddy. All right, you can have that. You can have the wow, ten gold, crazy. Eleven silver. And most of my buff potions have been quick stacked away. All right, let's grab those back out, shall we? Okay, so we're pretty much good. We've got the cooked marshmallows. Uh, we've got the pad thai. We've got greater healing potions. An assortment of different ammos. I'm going to go and put both of these on. So, you know, should one weapon wind up failing us, then, you know, we could just go do other things. So we've got about a minute remaining. Do we want to make any improvements to the arena, perhaps? Are there any... Heart crystals. There was one heart crystal. Okay, so have we got any chains? We do have a chain. We can make ourselves a heart lantern. All right, now then, do we have a heart lantern already here? 
If not, then I can go and place it down. Yep, let's place it down. Alright, so there we go, you see? Always worth going ahead and spending the time making your arenas just a little bit better. There we go, looking good. Alright, I'm going to put some torches at the top here, just so you can see what's going on, I guess. Uh, Alright, so, about 25 seconds, guys. Do you think we're going to do this first time? So far, we have been absolutely breezing. I tell you, breezing through the expert mode mech bosses. I mean, to be honest, they don't really have any different attacks compared to their blooming normal mode counterparts. They merely have more health and more damage and probably more defense as well. So it's not that difficult, honestly speaking. Right, if you guys can, like, go inside your houses and stuff, buddy. Can you Seriously? Come on, it's night time. Why are you still outside? Dude, dude, cease your conversation. Go inside. You're going to get killed by Skeletron Prime. Buddy, buddy. Buddy, buddy, hey, hey, come on, come on, there you go, god, jeez, man, Emma and Jerry, go get a freaking room, jeez, man, alright, let's buff up, and let's do this thing, my friends, let's start off with the Mega Shark, shall we, where is he, there he is, right, all we gotta do is avoid his attacks, shouldn't be that difficult, hopefully, once we get into a bit of a rhythm, we should be okay, right, his lasers are doing a fair amount of damage, though, admittedly, so we're gonna need to be kind of careful, Okay, I don't know. Will the Mega Shark do more damage than maybe some other weapons I have? Should we maybe give this a go? I don't know, man. Oh, I'm do oh, he's doing a heck ton of damage to me now. Oh, jeez. Heck ton of damage indeed, in fact. That's kind of crazy, actually. Oh, I don't like this. I'm kind of tempted to just keep doing this, though. Just, like, spray the absolute crap out of him, you know? <laughs> might work, might not. I have no idea. Oh, don't get killed. Don't get killed by that. Wow, 208 crit damage. Crazy. Although, the good news is, we do, of course, have the archery potion going, which is, you know, really quite awesome, because it gives us 20% increased arrow damage. This thing does 80 damage now, which is rather amazing, actually. I'm kind of surprised. Got about five seconds until regen. We're not doing that bad. Honestly speaking, we're not doing that bad. And health. There we go. We're nearly at full health, guys. Awesome. All right, just got to try and avoid his arms. I think one of his arms may be down, actually. Yeah, it is. I'm pretty convinced. Yeah, one of his arms is down. Hell yeah, my friends. Right, now I want to get that vice out of the way. Is it the vice? Is that what it's called? The vice or the pincer? Pincer looking thing? You know? Hmm. Anyways, oh man, I, I've got a strong feeling we'll have this first time, folks. There we go. Come on, boys. Uh, What is it? Vice. Yeah, it is a vice. Okay, fair enough. Looking good. We've got about 25 seconds until our next health potion. What we've got to do is avoid his attacks once again. Shouldn't be that difficult. Another one of his first arms are gone. In fact, he's only got one arm left. What the heck, dude? He's almost dead. Jeez, man. I can't believe it. We're about to take this guy down first time as well. Dude, Rangers can be OP. <laughs> this is incredible. Wow. Absolutely incredible. Just amazing. I can't believe it, guys. I can't believe it. We've taken down all mech bosses in our expert mode ranger playthrough first time. First time. Wow. I can't quite put into words how amazing I feel right now, actually. <laughs> that's kind of made up for that Crimson Mimic death. For sure, man. That's crazy. All right, let's get the mechanical cart. Let's put that in place. And now... How does one make the flamethrower? Let's have a look. Was, I don't think I've ever made it. I can't remember a time when I have made it. Flamethrower. Uh, iron bars. Really? Okay, interesting. So we can make a flamethrower if we really wanted to. Ooh, might be worth it, actually. Right, we've got a lot of time left as well. So I'm going to go and buy the illegal gun parts. Uh, yep, thank you very much. All right, now we need some iron bars. I'm quite surprised that it uses iron bars and not hallowed bars. Because it is, I don't know. For all intents and purposes, it's like a, a post-mech boss, you know, weapon. It would kind of make sense if it used hallowed bars as opposed to iron. Iron just seems really cheap. Huh. Oh, well. oh my god, you are kidding. <laughs> oh my god. We're on unreal flamethrower. Are you joking me? That's amazing. Oh, mate, that is unreal. Oh my god, amazing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we now have a flamethrower. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Okay, so moving on, we can grab out the souls. So souls are 
Uh, nope, not Souls of Flight. Souls of Might, Souls of Sight, Souls of Fight, they're all there. Iron Bars, you can go back in the chest there, buddy. And now, if we just grab out the Hallowed Bars, ladies and gentlemen, we can now make... Maketh the, the pickaxe axe thing. There we go, murderous. It's got plus speed on it. Fantastic! Wow, we are being really lucky today. It looks like Terraria has like tapped into my life and has been like, you know what? I've, I've had enough of giving you bad luck, so I'm going to give you something nice for a change. Wow, that's incredible. All right, let's go put these in the bars chest. It makes more sense for it to go in the bars chest. Sweet. So now the hammock has now been retired. We no longer need it. And we have a real nice smorgasbord of stuff to our name right now. Ooh, killing them. Right, now then, what is the next thing we should do? You see, hmm, when does the truffle spawn in? Is that a post-Plantera NPC? If it isn't, I could try and get him in, but I've got a sneaking suspicion that you need to go ahead and get the Plantera boss defeated. And talking of Plantera, he will be our next boss to take down, or she will be our next boss to take down. And as you guys know, as you guys know, I have major troubles with Expert Mo Plantera. For real, I really do. She absolutely destroys my ass most of the time. It isn't even funny, man. It, like, oh, it is crazy. It's just ridiculous just how amazingly ridiculous that boss is. But whatever the case may be, ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves no Spelonka potions. Ugh. Okay, we're going to have to find life through the old-fashioned way then. Just go exploring, huh? All right. Well, that's what we're going to do next. We're going to go for a bit of a chlorophyte hunt. We're going to go hunting for chlorophyte and some life fruits. And yeah, by hopefully getting a whole bunch of both of those, we should be good to go. We might be able to make ourselves some chlorophyte ranged armor, huh? <laughs> Seems like a good thing to do, right? Now, as far as I remember, we need exactly 354 chlorophyte ore to make ourselves a full set of armor. And then I can't remember how many bars it is to make myself that shot bow. It's either 12 or 18. Um, I don't actually know, to be honest with you guys. But uh, whatever the case may be, we're going to head over to the jungle real quick. Which is... Yeah, it is on the left-hand side. Okay, cool. So yeah, go into the jungle. Oh, hello. <laughs> go into the jungle. We're going to go underground. We're going to see what kind of stuff we can find underground, folks. Let's see. I bet getting ourselves a bunch of awesome resources. Ah, here we go, folks. Our first bunch of chlorophyte. Like I said, we're having to do it the old-fashioned way. Of just finding it, like, near the surfaces, I guess. Instead of just looking in dark places like we would normally do if we, of course, had ourselves... Can you, like, not, sir? Thank you very much. Get absolutely destroyed. You deserve that. <laughs> Alright. So, yeah, like I said, old-fashioned way. We have no access to freaking Spelunka posters. I honestly feel like we should have a bit of a building episode because, uh... Well... God! Jesus, man. We really need to get ourselves some sort of greenhouse kind of deal going, you know? Is, uh, you know, we, we can't go without potions for too much longer. You know, one thing I was actually genuinely thinking of doing was uh, trying to take down Duke Fishron before taking down Plantera, but I don't know, man. I think that would just be a step in the complete wrong direction into Rageville, honestly. I don't feel like that would be a good idea. The reason why I would want to do that is because I would want to try and get the Tsunami, which I would imagine would be an extremely good weapon against Expert Mode Plantera. I mean, it shoots out five arrows at once for crying out loud. So combine that with, like, Chlorify Arrows or Holy Arrows, a good, sweet lord above. You're going to have yourself a damn good weapon, you know? I don't know, man. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. We're not going to be taking down any more bosses in today's episode. We just want to go ahead and get ourselves some uh, some cool stuff. You know you know what I'm saying? Just a little bit of cool stuff. And uh, yeah, by getting some cool stuff, hopefully we can start prepping for one of the two bosses. So let me know in the comments area, guys. Should we take down Plantera first or Duke Fishron? Or try to take down either of the two first. Which one should we try to do first, basically? Leave your comments in the comments area below. Anyways, uh, let's just keep having a bit of an explore. I've not found any life fruits yet, unfortunately. Unfortunately, they're not exactly that noticeable in all honesty. Wow, that guy. Oh, a nature skip. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, buddy. All right. Uh, yeah, there's not really too much going on around here. We are looking more for chlorophyte than life roots, I would say. So if we see any little bits of green all around, then you guys are going to shout. Okay. It's a it's it's door of the explorer, basically. No, it's not. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay, I'm kidding. <laughs> all right. Hmm. Anything? Anything at all for the old Pythonator? No. No. You're not going to give me a single thing. I can see a little bit of chlorophyte behind this little patch of silver. I'll also go grab some of this bad boy stuff. Hey. Oh, man. 
Trying to find 350 of this is going to be dang difficult, my friends. Hmm. But whatever the case may be, we're gonna we're gonna still try it. We're gonna still try and get as much as we possibly can. Uh, there's a little bit more down here by the looks of it. There we go. In fact, how much more? Just the one. Okay, cool. We're already one fifth of the way there, to be fair. All right, let's just carry on with the current progress, I guess. This might take a little while, but I'm going to do it in the form of progress update. So if we find something cool, I'll bring you guys back. Hey, an adhesive bandage. I wasn't expected to get one of those, but kind of cool. Goes towards my super accessory of the Ankh Charm. Hey, do it. Hey, we've got a bazaar. Oh, God, we're going to get killed by bees. No, 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 no. Ah, oh. huh. there's a jungle shrine over there as well. Interesting. Alright, uh, dropped seven gold coins. Uh, I could have really done without losing all of that, to be honest with you guys. Gosh darn it. Well, there's a bunch of gold coins on the floor. Jeez, man. That's crazy. <laughs> Alright, well, let's just get back there. Hey, there's a life rate. It must have just popped up as well because uh, it's near the surface where I was just coming back from. <laughs> cool. Our first ever life route, folks. Big old occasion, huh? <laughs> awesome. Alright guys, so we're just about approaching the end of my little claw fight digging session and things are starting to get a little bit tasty. Let's get out of there. There we go folks. 459 claw fight is the amount we've come out with, which is a hefty amount. It's a hell of a hefty amount. That's a lot, isn't it? Wow. Okay. Well, I'm very happy about that, to say the very least. Uh, Thorns Potion. Still can't make it. Okay. Darn it. Right. I'm going to put this uh, Bat Banner up real quick. We're going to put the Feral Claws inside of the accessories chest. And yeah, we've got Clawify Orn, my friends, which is kind of awesome. The bad thing is, we haven't got any... Is it Titanium or Adamantite we have in this world? I can't even remember. But we're going to need it. We need Titanium. In order to make the claw fight, and we kind of don't have it yet, so that's a bit of a heartbreaker. <laughs> oh god damn it! All right. Well, anyways, guys, I think that'll be a task for next episode because, guys, I've been farming for a heck of a long time, my friends. And well, I'll be honest, I need to actually pre-record because this uh, weekend coming up, I'm actually going to be away for about four days. So uh, yeah, hopefully you won't notice any difference in uh, in content going out on the channel. But I'm just letting you know that you know there's going to be some pre-recorded episodes going up. So, yes. But anyways, folks, on that note, it's going to be time to end this episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to drop a like rating. It'll be super appreciated. And hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future content, my friends. But for now, it is time for me to go. Thanks for watching, folks. And I'll see you guys next time.